Hey lovelies, it's Ebony and I'm back with a hair tutorial for you guys. I put a clip of this hair tutorial on my Instagram page and it's kind of going viral right now. But the good news is for you guys that the hair dryer and the flat iron that I use are currently on sale at Nordstrom for their anniversary sale. So I had to make sure I got this video up for you guys in case you're interested in purchasing. So let's get into it. Now, as you can see, I'm still dealing with some postpartum shedding. I wanted to make sure you guys saw this because I get a lot of questions about it. And this is a typical amount of what I lose when I detangle my hair. Hence why I'm going straight for the foreseeable future until this shedding slows down. Now to get started, I went ahead and washed my hair, of course, and also, Please remember to detangle your hair before washing it. It will save you so much time, I promise you. This is a hair hack that I live and die by. And of course, before I blow dry it, I use the Pattern Beauty heat protectant. And once my hair was washed, of course, it was time to blow dry it. And to do that, I use the T3 Featherweight Style Max. This is the newest hair dryer from T3. And for the settings, I chose the medium hair type setting, the comb attachment setting, the fourth highest temperature setting and the highest fan setting. I know that's a mouthful, but it all matters because the special thing about this hair dryer is that it adjusts the temperature of the heat to cater to your hair type. It has a fine, medium, and coarse setting. Like I said, I chose the medium. And then it has those different temperature settings that change according to the hair type setting you choose, fine, medium, or coarse. And just like any other hair drying session, I chose the highest fan setting because I need to get my hair dry fast. And y'all, when I tell you that I dried that one half of my head so quickly, I dried it in just about 15 minutes. I've never dried my hair that quickly, at least not that I can remember in recent days or even recent years. It was so unbelievable to me that I had to time the other side just so that I could show you all how quickly this whole blow drying session went. Now, if you've been following my channel and my Instagram for a long time, then you all know how I feel about the Rev Air. I love the Rev Air, but it still takes a pretty long time to dry because you're just kind of holding the hose in place and it's all good. You know, it's not a bad hair dryer, but it's something about getting back to the handheld with the comb. I don't know, I just feel like I'm getting a lot more done in each section a lot quicker. And it also really helps that the comb attachment actually clicks into place versus fitting over the tip of the blow dryer. You know how annoying that can be. Those uh, comb attachments fly off and they are just a pain to use. So I feel like these hair dryer companies are getting really hip to what we need as far as attaching the comb securely to the blow dryer. Now, when I decided that I was gonna wash and blow dry my hair, I had planned to just stop at the blow drying. I was not going to flat iron my hair, but I was that impressed by the blow dryer that I was like, let me just go ahead and try the flat iron. I'll just say that this is your sign to always follow that gut instinct. My hair came out so good after flat ironing, after flat ironing it. <laughs> and this has been the remedy for losing my postpartum shed hair in a way that I can digest. I'm not saying that this is changing the amount of shed hair that's coming out, but it's making it a lot easier and it doesn't feel like I'm ripping my hair out of my head, even when it's blow dried. Of course, when it's curly, it's harder to detangle, but with all the postpartum shedding, even when it's blow dried, it still gets really tangled. But with it straight, I can just kind of pull the strands out throughout the day, brush it really well, and it just feels more manageable. And I almost forgot to tell you guys the formal name of this flat iron. It's the T3 Single Pass Style Max. It uses the same technology as the blow dryer as far as the fine, medium, and coarse settings. And it even has a separate curl setting for when you want to curl your hair with the flat iron. I use the seventh heat setting, which is 390 degrees Fahrenheit. Y'all, my hair was still really straight with that heat setting. You don't have to blow out the flat iron to get straight hair, especially because I don't want heat damage. I love my curls. I love my curls over straight hair any day. And because I'm gonna be wearing my hair straight for a pretty good while, I wanna make sure that I'm doing all that I can to minimize as much damage as possible. Now I said before that I was using the Pattern Beauty heat protectant for blow drying. I decided to use that just because I wanted to try it out. I got amazing results with that. But when it comes to straightening my hair, I just have to use Thermal Wonder. That's what I know, that's what I love, that's what I trust when it comes to straightening my hair. But maybe next time I will do the Pattern Beauty heat protectant, maybe on just a few sections just to see how I like it. 
Now overall, I don't really have any complaints for either of these products. When it comes to hair dryers, the top three things that I look for include how fast is this gonna dry my hair? Can I control the temperature? Is it gonna leave my hair shiny or dull? And I feel like this hair dryer hit all three of those right on the head. When I was done blow drying my hair, I felt like my hair was not fried. It felt like it was shiny, it was soft. It was all the things that I look for when drying my hair. And of course, it dried my hair super fast. Now when it comes to flat irons, the things that I look for are very similar to what I look for in a hair dryer. Can I control the temperature? What type of plates are being used on this flat iron? Is my hair gonna be shiny and soft when I'm done? And I must say, again, this flat iron hit all of those things right on the head. Not only can you control the temperature on this flat iron, but it has the technology in place to make sure that the temperatures don't fluctuate while using the flat iron. That's important because if you have hot spots on your flat iron while using it, that can lead to heat damage. And of course, we don't want that. I also love the ceramic plates on this flat iron. Ceramic heats more evenly and it just keeps things nice and smooth and silky and adds a lot of shine to my hair. Now I know straightening naturally curly hair can be a bit daunting and scary and anxiety ridden because no one wants to damage their curls. All I can say to that is make sure when you do straighten your hair, that you're using quality products. Don't go the cheap route. I promise you, you won't regret it, especially if healthy hair is a priority for you. Now, before I get out of here, I want to acknowledge the fact that yes, I did not shoot this video in the traditional horizontal portrait or it was it landscape, landscape format. But y'all, I just do not have time these days. Lennox is the sheriff, the chief, the queen, whatever of this house when it comes to time and priorities. So I am doing the best that I can do. And I know y'all probably don't even care about this, but it's just the Virgo in me. Things have to look a certain way. Things have to be a certain way. So it really took a lot of me to just, okay, Ebony, just edit what you have. Everyone will be understanding, but I promise I will do my best to avoid this in the future. Or if you guys just don't care, maybe I'll continue to give you content this way because it's hard trying to shoot both horizontal and vertical because I have to put content on Instagram and I don't want to forget about YouTube. It's just a whole thing. So let me know in the comments if you are okay with this. And if you're not, then just keep that to yourself because I really don't want to know. But in the meantime, let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see from me next. Um, just like I said before, my hair will be straight until this postpartum shedding is over with. Maybe I'll go back to curly sooner than that. I'm not sure, but as of right now, straight hair it is. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys want to see as far as hair. And, you know, if you guys still want to see vlogs, if you guys want lives, like what is it that you guys want from me on this channel? I feel like ever since having the baby, a huge shift has happened. And rightfully so, because it has been a shift, <laughs> but I definitely want to stay on track with my YouTube family and give you guys as much as I can. But for now, that's going to be the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up, share this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And as always, thanks for watching.